Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kitty Mary and today I have a bathroom tour, bathroom cleaning guide, zero waste bathroom products, vibes. I'm working on the title as you can clearly tell, but I wanted to show you my bathroom. I have never really had a bathroom that sort of fits into the Pinterest aesthetically pleasing style aesthetics of zero waste bathrooms or just of aesthetically pleasing bathrooms in general and I have this sneaking suspicion that most people don't have those amazingly beautiful spacious light bathrooms. I have done my best to make it work. I did a whole apartment tour video a while back when I moved into this apartment with Jens. He lived here already but I don't think I spent a lot of time on the bathrooms I want to show it to you now. I also have a little bit of cleaning to do so can you see how this is sort of like two birds. Before we do anything else though this video has a sponsor. Da, 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 da. This video is sponsored by Who Gives a Crap and except for the amazing company name. This is a company that makes sustainable toilet paper. I've known about them for a really long time and I was so delighted when they reached out to me and asked if we should do a collab because obviously I have also tried their products many times without it being a collaboration so I'm really happy to share this with you. Who Gives a Crap makes toilet paper in both recycled paper and bamboo. They don't use dyes, inks, bleaches etc on their paper which is really amazing. Their toilet paper is also wrapped completely plastic free which I absolutely love and not only can you buy toilet paper sustainably and zero waste you can also get it in a monthly subscription box so you never have to run out which I think is pretty cool and just a small detail but the paper it's wrapped in is so amazing and beautiful I've used it as gift wrapping and I'm not even remotely ashamed okay I'm going to talk more about who gives a crap within the video so let's get started this is my bathroom I am currently standing in the shower and you have to go through the shower to get to the toilet we have a little curtain here then we have the sink in this direction we have the sink here nice big mirror and then the shower is a bidet shower that we turn on from the sink but, woo. it has always been like this by the way and it's very normal to see that in Denmark with older bathrooms and um, because when the building was built I think it was in the 30s there wasn't a shower or a toilet in the apartment at all so this was added later which is why the solutions are a little bit like this and they come in all funky shapes and sizes if anyone remembers my previous apartment the shower was in the kitchen same reason different solution anyway we have the sink here it needs a thorough cleaning so we're going to do that I have my small soaps. These are actually going to be turned into a Franken soap soon. I'll just find that for you to see. So I save all types of soap pieces in here and then I melt them together um, so nothing is wasted. And that goes for both small hotel soaps and also small soap scraps like this. So we're just gonna put them in the jar. Have a little nail brush. Then we have both liquid soap and liquid shampoo. This is mostly for guests so they don't have to use solid shampoo if they don't want to. Um, just upcycled the jars here. Um, the water is filled with calcium in Oldberg so you can definitely see that on the glass that's here. Up here we have the soaps that we use. This is my conditioner, this is my shampoo, underneath is Jens's shaving soap and then we have our safety razors. For towels, I love this towel to bits. This is a thrifted retro 70s towel and I think it is amazing. I dry my hair in a cotton t-shirt. This has a sloth on it that's posing like the birth of Venus by Botticelli, which I think is hilarious. And um, a ceramic tiger, obviously. Leo was in the living room for a while, um, but I think I'm going to put him in here again. I love him. And he matches my towel really well. And we have a little picture up here. I'll just tell you what it says. Name one successful woman who got to where she is by scrolling on Instagram, depressing herself with other people's fabricated lives by Florence Given. To the toilet paper, I have uh, hygiene products, my menstrual cup, reusable pads, etc. Then we have a toilet brush made of wood and uh, everything else on these shelves. Basically, I'm also going to show you the storage in here. Again, aren't the prettiest shelves, but they are here and it's a shame to replace them with other shelves when we have these. So 
I'm just going to use what we've got. These mugs are made by a local artist who works with ceramics and I just uh, love them. Then we have my reusable makeup wipes, spare toilet paper. We have some beauty products and some different small towels and cloths for scrubbing, more beauty products, and then our tooth dental area right here with the dental floss and tooth taps, etc. So at this point, I feel like it makes sense to mention. So we have our toilet paper. We've used toilet paper always, and I haven't phased out toilet paper through going zero waste. I have, however, reduced my toilet paper usage consumption by also having a bidet that I use next to it. This is not a bidet that's plugged in, but this is a wireless um, bidet that you charge through your computer, which is pretty fun. It is from Anola. Just gonna unwrap some toilet paper for you. So like, do you see what I mean? This could easily be gift wrapping and it has been, yay. Just some practical info. This is three ply, super soft. A. Um, I have literally no notes in terms of comfort and usage, etc. Uh, the inside roll we are reusing or recycling. Literally no notes. I think it is super soft and amazing to use. And I also don't feel bad about using it, if that makes sense. So we have a couple of rolls out here to spare. If one runs out, you don't have to yell to other people in the apartment to go get more. But the majority of the toilet paper is stored somewhere else that I'll also show you. Mm -hmm. Such an aesthetic though, okay. And by the way, another thing that I think is pretty amazing that I really want to add as well is that Who Gives a Crap donates 50% of their profits to organizations that help people with clean water and toilet accessibility all over the world. And so far, Who Gives a Crap has donated almost $8 million. By the way, we have like a little bin for hygiene products, etc. We don't throw anything in it because we don't have anything that's meant to be thrown away. But we also didn't want to get rid of the bucket because there is a chance that we have people over who might want to dispose of their hygiene products and we don't want to put them in an uncomfortable or embarrassing situation by having to go through the apartment to the kitchen bin or something. So we still keep that there and uh, just empty it once in a while. But at this point it is empty. I think there's a piece of floss and a leaf in there or something. I don't know. Um, and then right there we have the bathroom scale. I put it away slightly because I did see myself gravitating towards weighing myself on a reason just because I was curious and that was like a bad pattern for me to get into. So I put it there and just by having it out of sight a little bit, I stopped weighing myself. Um, so yay. Okay, so what is inside the storage cabinet is just everything. On the bottom shelf here we have spare toothbrushes. I have so many of them. Then we have these tooth cleaners. These are actually rescued, um, so we just have them here and people can use them when we have gifts, guests over, etc. All of these are band-aids and this is just uh, empty containers that I can use for beauty products, DIY projects, etc. Then these are my travel pouches for beauty products. These are spare safety razor blades. This is also shaving related. I put all my used or dirty razor blades in this so they are safe um, and I'm safe from them specifically. This is refills for my dental floss. And these are also blades. Up here we have all the soaps in the world. One second, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand here. Oh. Most of this stuff is normal hand soap, but there are a couple of conditioners and special soaps in there as well. Then we have products here that I have used a little bit or think that I'm just pausing right now. Um, something that I'm trying out. These things I haven't used yet um, and more containers, yay. The rest of the toilet paper is up there, so in order for me to go there, I will need the stepping stool. Oh, but it's nice to be small. Here we go. Yeah, so this is basically um, the subscription package, so you have enough toilet paper, you're not going to run out ever. 
there are multiple layers in here as well. And I really like that the last rolls in the box are called emergency rolls. I think this is really fun. We're pretty set. I'm just still standing on the stepping stool, never mind me. Um, but when you use a bidet as an addition to toilet paper, you can reduce your toilet paper consumption by up to 50%. So I think that's pretty neat and that makes all of this last a really long time. These are the things I use to clean my bathroom. This is a little bulk toilet cleaner that I got a couple of months ago. It's really good. It's really, really strong. Yeah, I just put it in a little juice bottle. Then I have my new universal cleanser that I use for everything else um, and very low waste in general. So, And the cloths that I use are these crocheted cotton cloths that doesn't uh, release microplastic. And I think I got this in a thrift store. Let's go clean. I just dropped the lid into the toilet. In my soon 28 years of living, I've never dropped anything into the toilet. <sighs> That's not true. I also dropped my menstrual cup into the toilet. We can work through this. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much to Who Gives a Crap for sponsoring this video. If you want to know more about them or find a discount code, I have left a link down below where you can find all the information that you need. If you have any video suggestions for me, anything you want to see or know more about, leave a suggestion down below. I would love to hear you out. Also, I would really love to know what you do to make your bathroom more sustainable. Are there any of these things that you want to incorporate or have you incorporated things that I haven't done yet? Let me know, let's share, let's inspire each other. Thank you so much for watching, have an amazing day. Please feel free to like up this video and also subscribe to my channel, that would make my day. Have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye.